Hey, Sean Jantz here, and I'm currently inside of a live uh, daily at the money trade here on Slash ES. And I titled this video, we're going to take you through a pretty cool process here that maybe you haven't thought of before. Uh, but I've been trying to figure out how to help people better with change control and how to really, really time your entries and your exits. And so uh, first things first, though, as you know, every single trade begins on the bird's eye view. So when we look at this one hour chart, uh, we're down over 2%, we're below a negative one and a half deviation. So I have a massive, so and, and we know that every, all the market does is cycle. We have massive demand and we're extremely oversold. So I'm anticipating a bull pop to the upside going in uh, at least here in the next hour, hour and a half. So then I can take profit. So now that we have confirmed bird's eye view, we know our bias. We know we want to be buying into weakness and we got lots of demand to the left and we're below a negative one, which gives us even a uh, look at all these edges on the bird's eye view. But now what I want to do is go through the process of the worm's eye view entry so that we can increase the increase the reward, lower the risk and increase our probability of success. So now I wanna, what I want to do is I want to go to the one minute chart. And what I want to show you how to do is start what, what I like to call drawing uh, change control rectangle boxes, right? So it's very, very obvious. When we look at the market open, we've had a nice little move down into the negative one and a half. And you'll notice that we've started to go sideways. We're starting to form what I like to call change control, right? Bears have been in charge. They did have a nice little quick morning V and then we continued, the bears continued. Uh, and then now we're down into this negative one and a half zone, even below the negative one and a half. And you'll notice that we have now started to go sideways. So what we wanna do to, and so I'm along that blue line and I literally just entered like right there. I'll take you through that worm's eye view entry. But what we want to do here is we now want to draw our change control box where bulls and bears have changed control on the worm's eye view. Again, this is worm's eye view here. Okay. And so very, very obvious that we have a very clear defined change control box with clear defined resistance up above. It's very obvious. We have clear to clear defined demand to the left or sorry, down below. It's very obvious. See how and again, your change control box is always going to be subjective. But if you can't find your highs and your lows on your change control, then it's like obviously the chart's not ready and you need to let it continue to build more structure. But I want to change the color of this so you don't think that it's a value area box. Okay, so what is this? Very, very, very obvious, right? We've had change control once, worms I view change control, mind you, okay? Change control twice, change control, change control, come back down, change, a col change control again. So we're now starting to build that range bottom and then we change control again. We're starting to build that range high, range bottom. I just let it retrace and then there's my entry back to where these bulls have already proven to be buyers multiple times. The bulls look left. They've already proven to be buyers once, two, three, four, right? And so now that I have this change control box and I'm buying where the bulls have already bought, now I have a change control box to the upside, okay? And where, where's my logical place to take profit? Uh, duh, right there. Doesn't that make sense? But bears have shown change control multiple times. Why would I not take profit right there? And so um, let me show you the trade. In at 48 and a half, I'm giving myself, look, I have two hours to get this bull pop. And then I, so I have the TP order in at 83 and a half, or if we hit the change control high there where there's some short term supply, I'll just go ahead and TP on anything on however, on a, I don't care how big or how small it is. You got short term change control there. Why would you not take profits? So make sure that if you can't draw this, and, what, and then obviously you just need to let the chart continue to start building more and more uh, structure. But it's very, very obvious when you have the box where to enter, where to enter, where to enter, where to enter, where to, where to, where to take profit, where to take profit. No need to stop loss because the stop loss is built in. Give yourself plenty of time. And then don't forget, we're below a negative one and a half, which gives us over an 80% chance that bulls are going to show strength. One hour chart. Bird's eye view, massively oversold. We look left, we got demand there from last week. So there's lots in my favor. I'm just trying to show you how you can have very, 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 start getting really nitpicky on your entries on the worm's eye view because it'll help you lower your risk, increase the reward, and increase the probability of success. So we'll pause this and we'll come back and we'll watch this trade play out. I got over two hours to get this cycle back up into this negative one and a half and this change control worm's eye view high right there and then I'll just TP. 
Quick update here. Uh, we we almost made it to that 26.98. Sold off a little bit at 26.97. So we're going from one more push up into this supply zone. And so I'm gonna go ahead and use that. Um, about four minutes ago, we sold off at 26.97. So we're gonna push again it back up to 26.97. And then I'll just TP on this bad boy, right? So see how I enter that change control low, and then I let this sucker cycle back up. And then 26.97 here on the indicative, and then I'll just go ahead and bank this sucker. So there's 26.97. So we'll just go ahead and bank this there at 79.75. Just missed our original TP there by $3. Uh, so you can kind of see how I drew the change control box. Uh, bulls showed one, two, three. I entered right there. I go up and then there's my TP. So pretty cool. And then also to top it off, we had the massive 2700 magnet that this chart wanted to retrace back to. So pretty cool stuff. Don't forget, I used that bird's eye view buy trigger to ride this cycle back up. I then used the worm's eye view change control box. Uh, so if you're a beginner, right, start drawing this stuff so you can see this. And again, the box is always going to be subjective, but if you feel like you can't draw it and it's not clearly defined, it's probably not a chart you should be trading. So, well, uh, and then I also want to mention there are moments, right, when you get better at this, right? So like entry right there off the negative one, morning V, really quick. There's no change control really there, okay? So you just need to understand if you're going to enter stuff like this, morning Vs, it worked. Uh, but if you, if you don't enter on proper change control, you're going to have a lower win ratio. If you enter on change control, you're going to have a higher win ratio, but you may not get a better, you may not, you may make less money, okay? So... Message me, Ryan Smith, if you have any questions, negative one and a half, get these charts. This is freaking awesome. We're here to help you.